Hello my beautiful Aries, welcome, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and welcome to this channel. Right, we are doing just one of my favourites. My favourite is this, this, this reading. Money, manifestation, finances, career and all the beautiful things that you want and need in your life for month of July. You ready? How are you doing by the way? <laughs> what an entrance, isn't it? <laughs> well, you know, year is half, calendar year is halfway there. So, yeah, interestingly, we already have jumping cards. I'm going to take them. So that will be for the beginning of the month. No, for the beginning of the month. Yeah, what a month is going to be? Well, look, July is going to be an interesting one because it's really going to be powerful. It starts with the full moon in Capricorn. It's talking about success and knowing what you are worth, right? And knowing how to say no and never take no for an answer. But you can say no yourself, right? This is for the middle here. However, throughout the month, you're going to have some interesting journeys and realizing, yep, thank you. Wow, Ace of Pentacles, fabulous. Realizing what you can and can't do. However, pushing yourself to the limit, but knowing the limit, knowing the boundaries, knowing what is worth fighting for and knowing when to say no. Right. We have the High Priestess. Sorry, High Priest. Wisdom. And chariot. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Well, you know where that's going, right? <laughs> that's going one way and up. However, interestingly, Hierophant, which is uh, Taurus, and chariot, which is Cancer, is very career-driven. Oh, boy. Very career-driven. High Priest is very using kind of old knowledge. Perhaps giving him workshops, perhaps teaching something, showing no knowledge. But this could be as well if you're in spiritual kind of energy realm doing something. Could be that maybe you are starting something, workshops, maybe starting even YouTube blog, whatever. You are showing something. Now, this is going to bring in as well, could, perhaps there's some sort of old wisdom or old person or old um, forgotten energy or information that is helping you to get one way and that way is up right do not forget and chariot is saying that you gotta go up that's for sure but do not forget who helped you along the way okay right let's put the keeper in what kind of reading is that without keeper right aries this is for sun moon and rising so check your sun moon and rising as well because very often we do resonate with different signs indeed and if this doesn't resonate with you and it's a sun sign check your moon and rising we have the house we have the mature woman okay and we have the coffin i'll take one more card for that and if this feels kind of in your place, space, don't be a stranger. Subscribe, like, and comment. Main female. Well, this is not a surprise to me, guys. Because this month is really about... Oh, 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 is someone buying a new car or someone is really getting yourself together? Because this is about, look, the change has a automobile a vehicle let's say it's okay it's it's kind of like you're very driven and i'm gonna get more detail along in each part of the month but this is self-driven success you're it's down to you how you are getting there now beginning of the month we have the full moon in capricorn and not look i love capricorn and so i love aries as well but it's always about money regarding Capricorn. It's And it's always about success. And, and this full moon in Capricorn is not exception. And it's really kind of like showing how to overcome obstacles. And nine of wands, what is this about? There's some sort of obstacles here. It feels like you um, just five minutes before quitting. And what happens? Nine to one comes in. You kind of get that second wind apparent. Like, you know, it feels like, Phew, I can't do this no more. But then there's a another wand appears and it gives you that extra energy it feels like you've been um I, I will, my word is coming in suffocating perhaps you've been feeling like the same or same or same or same or but that is coming to an end okay and with the night wands yeah definitely there's a movement there's a lot of movement i can see with ch movement of chariot look movements right <laughs> and with the change at the very end i do pick up 
cards talk to me as I'm speaking, even though they are signifying more to the end. I do take a notice of that. What we need to know regarding nine of wands. Ten of swords. Here we go. We have the closure. You had enough of something, okay? You had enough. Oh, I close. Oh, wow. Page of wands. So you're getting... Uh, wow, we have the death of Scorpio. Um, It's, it's kind of like, look, I need to find... You kind of feel like I need to find that it. And very interestingly, throughout the months, this is going to be a like very self-driven month. Whatever comes in your way, either this is job, it is your doing. R discovering your own gifts, discovering uh, your weaknesses and knowing it, but playing on your strength because we are approaching Leo season, which is definitely about the strengths and being rare, you know, and really diving into that. Now, here we go. We have the new beginnings of Fool. Right. However, with the Fool is you got to take things seriously. Okay. If you want to start something, do. And it's a great omen. There's a green light. But sometimes not to getting foolish. And um, you might perhaps like something. But you need to, before you cut the old bridges, okay, before you kind of say no to something, dropping out of old work and and oh yeah i'm gonna get a new job yeah that's all good get the contract get something concrete okay do not just look how these old two have the ones here and they feel like yeah a bit dreamy you know uh, i'll gonna do this i'm gonna do that you need to have something concrete as well okay let's clarify the knight of wands five of wands okay See, it sounds like um, inner self-doubt is creeping in. Yes, Ace of Cups. Uh -huh, nine of um, perhaps your feeling of, mm, can I do this or can I not do this? Because there could be some sort of calling, I see, guys, that, that perhaps you need to travel a bit further to your work or some changes and you're very concerns how this change is going to affect you okay don't you worry look at this the empress and the emperor yourself baby <laughs> it is a beautiful counterpart you're gonna find your feet you are going to find your feet and it feels very self like those two those energies are very um now, I wouldn't call it selfish, but they're very self-centered and very focused. And this is kind of energy of focus on your strength. Do not let that negative talk, uh, and especially Mars in Virgo is going to be in 10th of July, which is kind of increase the powers. However, sometimes that could lead to a conflict and more likely this one here is the inner conflict. And this is self-negative talk needs to stop, right, Aries? But this is a very driven card. You perhaps are planning to uh, move away and branch on your own starting something new and it's important to draw boundaries boundaries are extremely important now with the empress as well it's a uh, starting something new this is a card of uh, fertility getting your own feet down and it's a very very abundant card but just keep in mind that this sometimes is a card where you are maybe are a little bit um generous but a bit too much and someone may be taking uh, advantage of it so you need to have this kind of mature woman attitude and knowing who is in need and who isn't just needy righty it's middle of the month what we having mature woman three swords and the lovers hello gemini gemini is around a lot okay so who is at work or who is involved in your business perhaps some of you are having a, a family business or very you know what I'm feeling here? You are close to a person, either at work or you became a friend, or you, um, some of your suppliers, or somehow it's related to your work or what you do. And perhaps you're not working, but something that is occupying, your occupation, basically. And you maybe have crossed the line. And that, that work relationship turned into friendship. And now somehow... um has ended a bit sour, okay? And let's clarify this. Why we have three swords, please? Why we have three swords? 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. That relationship. Um, <laughs> I'm saying directly. I'm going to be right direct here. Maybe you have gone out for dinner. You, maybe you have been uh, shared some personal information and you become very close friends or that's what you thought. But there's a line being crossed. The line has been crossed. Okay. So what you need to know, what you, what is the advice for the middle of the month? How to avoid this? Because look, if you don't like this reading, wow, thank you. If you don't like this, what is going on? You can change it because you have free will. Oh, wow. Ooh. Ooh, interesting. Aries, we have the six of ones. And six of ones is definitely talking about promotion. Uh, getting yourself together. And perhaps some of you are maybe trying to lose weight or put on weight. and But standing out of the crown, not fitting in. No, 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 no. This is kind of really, I'm off. I'm off to, to victory. And this is a card of, I'm going to leave things or people or places behind I don't need no more and there could be some sort of jealousy going around perhaps right and we have on the 17th of July we have the North Node in Aries your own sign and it's very interesting it's kind of really self-driven and the six of wands is definitely self-driven card but do not go overboard because it feels like you have very very driven and perhaps something has triggered the other person's or some sort of inner conflict, inner or outer conflict as well. Wow. What do we need to know regarding the lovers and choices? Oh, again, interesting. Hangman was there as well at the back. Okay. I'm going to be straightforward. I'm bring, um, uh, that's me. <laughs> Keep yourself to yourself. And I know it's hard. We want to celebrate. We want to do this and that and other. But... And this instance, whatever success is coming your way, what kind of opportunity is coming your way, do not rub in someone else's face, okay? And, well, because that can turn sour, and it, it might be, okay? Be gracious, okay? And do not forget those who helped you along the way. Interesting how the very first cards are actually very, very super important, kind of that message really... Uh, filter through through oh wow oh wow we have high priest again higher front and justice libra hello you are going to make a very um important decision here however it's a 50 50 it's nothing guaranteed so check your contracts check your whatever you're signing right and the high priest or oh, higher funds um it's keep your mind open Please do not burn bridges. Be as professional as you can, whatever the field you are at. Either this is a small business or you're some sort of occupation running uh, some sort of charity shop or running a little club. doesn't matter. There is no big or small. There's no right or wrong. But this card is about being gracious within what you do. Because... Your knowledge really matters. I, I really feel, Aries, that you are going to succeed so much. You will. You are kind of like a chosen, right? To give that energy that you have, that experience that you have. Now, end the month. What do we have? Ace of Pentacles, Two Swords. So, Ace of Pentacles is definitely contract because there's nothing guaranteed right check your check your um t's and c's and there's a new contract coming so please 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 be um mindful and aware now with two swords it feels like something is missing but we're not going to clarify in two ticks right it feels good if it feels good it feels good but it feels like you want something concrete okay something assertive Right, let's dive in. Because we have a coffin and we have the change. Very interesting. We literally kicked off with the nine, nine and nine, 19 and nine. You are nearly there. You are some sort of completion here. And what is interesting, we have on 22nd July, we have Venus in retrograde in Leo, which is kind of really saying you have the, all the gifts, everything that you need, you have. Okay. 
You don't need to look no further. Okay. But put your heart right in what you do. Okay. And it's really as well like it's going to bring the awareness of who you really are. The mask is coming off. The coffin. Whatever. Something has been buried. You kind of like becoming a new person at work or it's kind of like new challenges coming and you're growing with them. All right. Aha, uh -huh, same results. Is this you? Mm -mm. Wow. The world is bringing you some interesting changes here. <laughs> I'm going to say this. Like, it's very interesting. If Perhaps it feels like your limited beliefs have not been unnoticed. However, the world is bringing this you know what? I'm bringing you something new. You need some sort of change. You need the changes. Okay, let's have a look. We have two ones and five ones. We can I still we have this inner conflict going on. You kind of like, mm, shall I go? Shall I stay? Shall I go? Shall I stay? Um, but the world, the world is bringing change upon you. What else? Make decisions. From your heart, through your intuition, and be assertive. As simple as that. Interesting. Your undecisiveness might cost you something if you are not taking kind of bull by its horns straight there and then. And perhaps something old needs to let go. Two of swords. Yep, yeah, here we go. Magician is bringing money to you. And you can't take that away, right? There it is. As above, so below. However, interestingly, if you are hiring someone, uh, double check, double check, double check who they are, where they're from. Okay, because magician could be sometimes appearing that they're not. Now, with the Queen of Pentacles, it feels you're mastering, you're really taking charge. And you're making your way. You are um, mastering what's coming in your life. You're very decisive. Uh, it's very good to see because Queen of Swords is actually urging you, be decisive. Does it feel right? Just go for it, okay? And of course, check your, no, check your details. But don't let that indecisiveness run the show. Wow, we have Eight of Pentacles. It's interesting we have something that you have been doing for some time or something's close to your chest you are starting. Perhaps you're starting some sort of new, I don't know, hobby, job, whatever. But it's something that's been on your bucket list for some time. What other advice you need to know? Guys, you're going to be successful. That is for sure. You are entering new doors here. You're entering new type of people. And you are entering new contracts. And... Um, it's great. You're coming out of your own shell and you're becoming your new you. What else do you need to know? Take action. Wow. Interesting. Take action. Okay. Ready for the tour around the journey of the roads. What do you need to know? Crossroads. That definitely um, is signifying that there will be some significant decisions throughout the month. You will meet significant people. You will make significant um, decisions. And of course, you have free will. You can do whatever you want, right? So there's others, right? What else do you need to know? Oh, wow. Isn't this interesting? Look at that. We have cross and cross. And the coffee. It's kind of like you're closing something. And it's not cross to bear. But this is something spiritual. I, I feel, guys, that it's not maybe particular kind of your kind of area but if this is your moon and rising whatever uh signs it's something to do with your what you meant to do this is what you meant to be and do or have okay this is your uh area it kind of you're feeling that you are finding your feet and you're really feeling that you're belonging what you do it kind of like finding your own family within work or your occupation i'm feeling very very exciting about that it really feels like you are gathering that uh feeling of uh, i'm my own boss even if you're not working for yourself but feel like you are in charge of what's going on in your life 
and you can manifest and have everything that you want. All right, my beautiful selves, thanks so much for being here and have a blessed month and I'll see you in the next video.